We want to get an update on the weather, and Annalise, we've got some changes headed our way. And I'm not talking about just being slightly warmer than we were at this time yesterday. We're talking about bigger changes. Yes, that's the start of it, is the warm air moving back in, Karen. So that kind of gets us the, the ingredients in play to get storms in the forecast on Friday. But temperatures this morning have been as much as 20 to 25 degrees up from where we were this time yesterday. So not worried with freezing temperatures. One of the big things that's helped us is this cloud deck that's been moving back in. You can see uh, they're showing up across the Lone Star State. All those clouds from the south and west have been filling in. That has kept our temperatures up. And then you add in the fact that we're going to see more of an east-southeast wind, and that will help us as well. Right now, though, it's 53 degrees. Remember this time yesterday, we were looking at widespread 30s. Winds are out of the east right now at only about six miles an hour. And then across the rest of the Metroplex, there are a couple of spots in the 40s. Terrell and Greenville upper 40s where we've had a little more clear sky, but the clouds continue for most of the Metroplex. So we've got 56 in Denton, 52 right now as you head out the door from McKinney. The rest of the day, look for a nice mild afternoon as far as temperatures go. Not as nice though when it comes to our cloud cover. So the clouds are going to be pretty thick today. I don't think we'll see as much sunshine as we had been dealing with. So more of a gray setup and our winds will turn breezy. That's a southeast wind 10 to 20 miles per hour. Now then we get into tonight and we're actually going to be watching a warm front start to lift this way. So I don't think we'll see much of a drop off at all. In fact, temperatures probably only in the upper 50s to the low 60s as we start off tomorrow. So it's going to be a, a mild spring-like start. It's going to be a humid start as well. And we're going to be watching as that warm front lifts through in the overnight hours, passing through during the morning hours tomorrow. So we could have a few showers tomorrow morning, but I don't expect anything severe. That threat lies in the afternoon and evening. So here we go at 1 o'clock, starting to see some scattered activity. And you can see that's closer to the I-35 corridor. And then as we progress through the afternoon and evening hours, 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock, those storms are pushing off east of I-35. But we are watching for that threat for severe storms ahead of our cold front. All of that, though, moving out by later tomorrow night. Severe threat has not changed. We still do have a slight risk here in North Texas. We're looking at all modes possibly of severe weather. The big one, I think, right now would be large hail up to two inches in diameter. So we're talking at least up to golf ball size with those stronger storms. Damaging winds, it's not out of the question. We could see a few tornadoes. So we really will need to be just alert tomorrow and then getting some nice soaking rain out of this our eastern counties could get at least up to an inch of rain out of that round of storms tomorrow but drying out nicely for the rest of the weekend 75 on saturday sunny and warm on sunday highs in the low 80s